Wentworth. The Wentworth community is devastated by the loss of Max Carbone. A day of desperate searching ends in grief for the family and friends of a 19-year-old college student. Just hours after Boston police sent out an alert, the body of Max Carboni was discovered this morning in Roxbury. The sophomore at the Wentworth Institute of Technology was last seen alive, leaving a party early Saturday morning. Good evening, I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. Boston police say the teen's death is not suspicious, but it's still unclear tonight how Carboni died. WBZ's Paul Burton has the breaking details. Family and friends of missing Wentworth student Max Carboni break down after his body was discovered Sunday morning in Mission Hill. It's heart-wrenching. School officials say the 19-year-old Wentworth Institute of Technology student went missing early Saturday morning after leaving a party on Allegheny Street. I know that they were at a gathering and I know alcohol was involved. Boston police issued a missing person alert Saturday night asking for the public's help locating Max. A few hundred students from Wentworth and friends from the North Shore came to search for Max Sunday morning. We all went out. We all went out in three teams and we were just walking around and searching all the areas. And then we saw all the police cars and then they taped off the area and they said they had found um, him. After hours of searching, Max's body was found Sunday morning behind this building here on Terrace Street. Detectives say it was a ping from his cell phone that led them to this area. Right now, it's still unclear how he died, but it appears he may have fallen off this steep, rocky hill. His, his friends were calling his, his phone and it was ringing, uh, and then they were pinging the, um, the app and uh, it was showing that it was up in that area. I was overwhelmed by the outpouring of affection, commitment, and sympathy by our entire community, specifically the students. Max was a sophomore at Wentworth studying biomedical engineering. On Sunday, both detectives and classmates returned to the scene to try and put together what happened. Obviously, this morning is not the end result you want. He was pretty well known, um, at least from like all the athletes around campus who are a pretty tight group here. And, you know, he was always out and about and hanging out with us. They don't leave somebody behind. Uh, and that's a, it's just a terrible way to have that mes message delivered again. Uh, in, the, in the manner that it did. Boston police say the cause of death has not yet been determined, but they do not think it's suspicious. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.